Hey everybody, Jason here with GDT Basics and our video question line. Uh, today's topic is datum targets and flatness. And we're going to go ahead and extrapolate that out to profile of a surface as well. But the question was, I'd like to know how to apply flatness or profile tolerance to datum targets. If I have three points of contact or targets to define datum A, how would I apply flatness or profile to these targets? And the second part of the question is also, I would like to know if every datum must be a target or can I mix and match? Can I use targets to define three points of contact for datum A, and then go ahead and use traditional sort of uh, datums for uh, midplane on datum B? So let's take a look at a couple examples to answer these questions here. Uh, again, I'll start out saying that these are not complete drawings. There's a handful of information missing, but it has enough information to get the point across for these questions. The first question we have is, uh, if I have three points of contact to define data A, how do I apply flatness to these targets? Uh, and the short answer is you're not going to necessarily apply flatness or profile to the targets themselves. Um, what we're doing here is we're identifying A1 here, A2 here, and A3 here. A1 and 2 are datum target areas, uh, and they have a diametric area of 0.314. So the datum simulator physically in this scenario would look like the top of a gauge pin whose diameter is 0.314, or some sort of fixturing that the diameter of that fixture is close enough to 0.314. Uh, for A3, the datum simulator is going to look a lot like the top of a spherical tipped pin or a conical tipped pin. Um, and again, all of these datum target simulators are located to each other using basic dimensions. Uh, so we know where the, the pin makes contact here. We know that areas make contact down here. We have a stable datum simulator for A. A1, 2, and 3 create our datum A, right? Um, but if we picture a plain flat surface and we have three points of contact, three datum target points, right, on that plane, uh, three points is kind of a unique thing that you need three points to create a single plane. Now, if you want to understand how uh, flat a surface is, how far away it's gotten from being a perfect plane, we need more than three points, right? So if you set this part down here and we make contact here, here, and here, we don't know if that part looks perfectly flat or if it looks something like this, right? And not flat at all. Um, so three points is, is certainly not enough to give us any sort of um, credible understanding as to how flat or uh, the form of that surface anyway. Uh, but by all means, if you wanted to do this, datum target setup A1, A2, and A3, and then come back in and control this bottom surface with flatness in this sort of way, you can certainly do that, but again, it's not being applied to the datum targets themselves. However, there's a unique scenario that we use datum target areas in a, a little bit of a different way. Uh, and we're not actually using the datum target symbol themselves, uh, but you can see here on this part, uh, we have four datum target areas. And so what we're doing is we're defining four areas with a profile of 40 thousandths, and we're gonna define that area right on the drawing by hatching out that area and giving it a size with a basic dimension. Again, this basic dimension is really just the designer putting metrology information right on the drawing. Say, hey, when you go simulate data may only simulate it in this area, right? And it's four times. So it's this area, this area, this area, and this area, right? So we're, we're going to simulate data may in, this, in, in these four areas only. Uh, and that's just directly related to the functional intent of this part, right? Uh, this part probably makes contact in these two areas and these two areas using washers or feet who are, have a diameter of 1.5, right? Um, and so only simulate in that area. We don't care if this part bows a little bit over here or over here or maybe in the middle because when it sits down, that's how it's going to sit in the final assembly. Uh, so that's just uh, a good design uh, tool to directly simulate only the areas that matter to that datum. So this might be a useful tool for this scenario that we're asking about. Um, use profile, essentially we're controlling the form as well as the location of each one of these um, with respect to each other, right? And so we're controlling the position vertically. And this would be the same use as if it were a flat part. If we picture this part perfectly flat and we had two areas over here and two areas over here, we could easily use profile of a surface to qualify those four together, essentially creating this sort of complex flatness call out on all four of these. Now, if you're operating on the 2000, um, 18 standard, you can do a continuous feature and flatness. It's sort of the same interpretation here. 
um, but we're saying that only qualify, only check the form in these four areas, and then that is now our datum. Uh, so again, very useful to utilize this here, draw the area right on the drawing, uh, only take points or only simulate in that area. And for the last part of this uh, question, can I use targets to define three points of contact for datum A, then use a midplane for datum B? Absolutely, we can mix and match all sorts of datum sort of um, information on our drawing. So we could have easily just said datum target point here, datum target point here, and we use the datum target symbol instead of this. If you had four datum target points to simulate datum A, you could easily come back in and say, well, I want to use this midplane right here as datum B. And in a traditional sort of way, we're identifying datum B as a midplane, um, again, qualified back to datum A. Uh, even if you're using datum targets, we still have a datum A. Uh, those four targets that were defined here on the drawing, um, whether it's datum target symbol or this sort of profile control on a datum target area, um, you can certainly mix and match. So to answer the second part of that question, absolutely, you can utilize datum targets and quote unquote traditional datums, however you would like. Great question. Thanks for submitting it, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.